It's the middle of the summer and Justin Trudeau is really hoping that you're going to forget about the four years of scandal and failure that he's accumulated because we're enjoying nice weather in many parts of the country. Now, it would be one thing if we were just talking about uh, those past failures, which are terrible and you know really bad in and of themselves, but there have been a few more things that Justin Trudeau has stepped in over the last week, which are really concerning that I'd like to bring to your attention so that you can share them with your friends and family uh, as, as you have an opportunity to enjoy the summer. So the first thing is, drum roll please, Gerald Butts is back. That's right, Butts is back. I can't, I can't believe this. So for, for those of you who don't know who Gerald Butts is, he's the Prime Minister, he's Trudeau's right-hand man. He uh, allegedly uh, resigned in disgrace around the SNC-Lavalin scandal, and he's back. He's been welcomed into the Liberal fold. Uh, in a senior role, according to these media reports. Now, why is this concerning? Uh, th there are so many reasons, but I'll give you two quick ones. First of all, you'll remember that Butts charged the taxpayer, uh, there were reports that said that he charged the taxpayer tens of thousands of dollars for moving expenses when he first came into uh, the prime minister's office after the election. Now, fast forward this uh, to this point in time, when he resigned, did he get any severance that was paid for by you? And if so, why is he being welcomed back into the party again after getting paid severance? We don't know the answer to that question, which is why we've been asking it for months. Now, there's something bigger that we need to discuss too, which is Mr. Feminist, Justin Trudeau, stands up for women every day, turfed Jody Wilson-Raybould and Jane Philippot, not just from their cabinet positions, but from the party entirely because they dared to stand up to him and do the right thing uh, as the prime minister was allegedly uh, attempting to interfere in the independence of Canada's judiciary as it relates to the SNC-Lavalin scandal. Now, um, I, I, I don't understand how he can say he can, can be a feminist and that let butts back into the party after he resigned and then these two women are sitting on the sideline because they did the right thing. Like it's just, it's bananas. Uh, it, I think it really speaks to the values of the Liberal Party and Justin Trudeau. Um, and, and there's so many incidences of uh, where Justin Trudeau put his needs, his, his wants and the needs and wants of his cronies above the needs of Canadian taxpayer. I could list so many different examples. You can watch them in my video feed here, but here we've got Gerald Butts back in action. You need to tell your friends and family this. You know, we can't let this get swept under the rug. I mean, if I had to kind of speculate myself on why this story was leaked in the middle of the summer, it's because Trudeau needs Butts to try and attempt to win this election. And he's hoping that putting Butts back in a party, a senior party role in the middle of the summer, uh, you know, there'll be some a, a couple bad media days that you'll forget about it and it won't be a story when the campaign starts. Uh, you, you can't let him get away with this. You need to share this video. You need to talk to your friends and family because, uh, you know, he should be, Trudeau should be held to account for decisions like this. Which brings me to my next story that came up. There were media reports that Canada's former ambassador to China, David Mulroney, uh, who has been, uh, you know, has put some very pointed uh, criticism out with regard to the issue of can Canadian um, Chinese relations in the last uh, few weeks. Allegedly, according to media reports, senior officials in the government of Canada uh, attempted to pressure uh, this man to, who's now a senior academic in Ontario, uh, to be silent on these issues. I, I mean, one one news article even said, you know, is this now a thing in Canada where we we, we attempt to silence people? Um, this is this is pretty serious. Uh, you know, I, I often uh, when I travel the country and I get a chance to talk to people, I say, you know, like democracy doesn't die in a big fiery explosion. It happens when people like you and I stop caring about. <clears throat> things like this, right? Government officials should not be telling an ostensibly private citizen what he can or can't say. I mean, the government can disagree with 
anybody anything that anyone says but to attempt to silence them that's that's straying into dangerous territory so again another point that happened in the middle of the summer that trudeau is hoping will just get swept under the rug the last story <laughs> to me is is really um bizarre but but not unexpected and ctv reported and then there's been subsequent opinion pieces that have been written on this comment that uh, justin trudeau in a speech referred to the relationship between canada and first nations persons as a parental role now for those of you who are familiar with the issue of reconciliation um that is a that is not uh that is a pretty patriarchal statement to make so uh you know when you when you think about all of the promises that justin trudeau made to first nations indigenous persons in canada that is a pretty bad statement to make i encourage you to go to um one of our candidates Sierra bird uh, she she is a wonderful young woman who is is running in northern Manitoba. Uh, she lives on uh, First Nations Reserve. She's a young mom. She put out a really great and scathing tweet thread on this particular issue, uh, and I encourage you to read that. Um, but I also encourage you to read stories like this one that has been written about the fact that can you imagine if a conservative had made these these comments? Um, I don't want to focus on that too much because I think that this underscores Justin Trudeau's you know, fakeness on so many different issues, be it feminisms, uh, First, First, Recon First Nations reconciliation, um, anything, anything really. Trudeau has and, and continues to show that his only interest is himself and that he's really unintelligent and ignorant on a lot of issues and it's it's demonstrated in his speech right like comments like this or paper drink box water bottle sort of things whatever right so look even though it is the middle of the summer we need to stand on guard and hold justin trudeau to account for these comments and these these failures and these actions which are really detrimental to the country myself and my colleagues are, are working hard to both bring this to your attention but also to push back on them we had um, senior caucus members in ottawa in the media talking about these issues um, and just trying to raise, raise awareness of this so that they're not swept under the rug during the middle of the summer and that all of you and your friends and family remember this when it comes election time. I hope you do enjoy your summer. Uh, many of us are going to be out canvassing as we have been going door to door ahead of the federal election. Get out and, vol and enjoy the summer uh, weather and come out and canvass with uh, any conservative candidate. I have a team, Some most nights we have two teams out every single night. If you're in the Calgary area, we would love to have you out. Uh, this election is going to be won by uh, sharing videos like this and also having a conversation on each and every single door in the country saying that Justin Trudeau needs to go and we need a strong, stable, conservative majority government. Working hard for you. Have a great day.